if you have a baby or a toddler and you're feeling kind of cooped up at home during the winter months especially, but really anytime, you should really check out all of the Mommy and Me classes that are available in your area. I am at Moon Soup in New York City for Rock Tots class. And I was feeling kind of strange because I didn't have my kids with me, so I borrowed beautiful baby Emmy Lou from my neighbor here. Thank you for the class. And it's about to begin. You ready, Emmy Lou? You ready? She's ready. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. This is how we start every class. I am the director and uh, one of the co-founders of Moon Soup. I've worked with kids for about 20 years. Well, we work with babies, basically zero to three. We have some after school for older kids, too. Now, to us, older kids is, you know, four-year-olds. Those are teenagers to us. And music is an integral part of everything we do. But Rock Tots is, as it sounds like, a very rocking program. Um, we do a bunch of folk music, old songs that you would know from when you were a kid. So it's a very fun, contemporary kind of music class. And the parents get up, they dance, they have a good time. But in all of that, we're also, through the entire class, working with the kids on transitioning and cueing and participating. So we have like two-year-olds who are incredibly focused and who are really actually participating in class. And, that feels really good. It's just like such a family environment. And Sylvia Gutierrez's two-year-old son, Nicholas, loves coming to Moon Soup. Everybody grab an instrument. He gets to play with different instruments, and um, well, they have uh, the guitar, and they ask him, like, where's the guitar? And then he feels special because he knows where it is. I do see a, a difference. Um, in the confidence level, the social confidence particularly, um, with kids who go to good programming when they're little. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, eyes and ear and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Story time at the Scholastic Store in New York City. Right. Always now. packed with moms, babies, well, and babysitters too. This is actually our first time at the Scholastic Store, but we go to Storytime all around the city. They have uh, free Storytime, which is great. So our first book today is Miss Spider's ABCs, and this is an ABC book. And you all know your ABC, so this is going to be great, right? Termites Tunnel, Underneath, Very Vivid Violets. Well, Storytime is, is, is uh, really the highlight of my week, and so I love being with the children. I love seeing the smiles. I love the looks on their faces of excitement when we're counting to 10, when we're saying our ABCs, when we're going through all of the songs, it really is great to see the kids and their energy and to know that I'm making an impact in their lives. If we're gonna to count to 10, we have to use our what? Our fingers, our fingers, are everybody ready? So we're seeing kids from the cradle to, to almost time for school, and so the kids are here, and so we're reinforcing the techniques that they're learning at home, but we're also introducing them to books. I just think reading with your child is a big bonding experience in general. Because life without halitosis just wouldn't make any sense. And that is dog breath. Did you like that? With Alicia on the circus ladder, we work on our like, grip reflex and core balance as they sit and swing. With Sheila on the high beam, we work on that balance. I come to my gym once a week. I like coming because Taylor gets to interact with children her age. And she gets to do um, physical activity like gymnastics. Um, swinging, running around, just having fun. And I like it because I can socialize with other uh, parents. There are my gym locations across the country with all sorts of fun classes that include music, dance, gymnastics, art, and more for kids six weeks to 13 years old. This class is in West Orange, New Jersey. It's always action-packed activities, the whole class working on either fine motor skills, cognitive development, their imaginations, social skills, very, lots of cool stuff. Great way for them to socialize, great way for them to get out there and, and learn new physical skills and uh, there's always something new, which is fantastic. Mommy and Me groups like this Waddler's class at my gym, Storytime at Scholastic, 
and rock tots at Moon Soup are not only great fun for the kids, but they also get moms together for some bonding time. It's a great way to meet other moms and also just to see the friends that I don't get to make plans with otherwise. And it's great for them socially, you know, to interact and learn how to behave around other children.